so in this session we will continue our legacy of uh, organic named reaction series okay so till now we have already completed 20 organic named reactions alphabetically and now today we will talk about chugave elimination okay so this is also a name reaction uh, chugave elimination okay so basically and this is our now you are seeing on the screen this is our general scheme of the reaction right this is our general scheme of the reaction general overview of the reaction okay uh, so basically in this reaction in this uh, chugave elimination uh, it is the preparation of alkenes right it is the preparation of alkene or uh, you can say olefins right so now see we have taken here substrate this is our alcohol okay so you can take a one degree alcohol two degree alcohol or a three degree alcohol it's your wish okay so here this alcohol is a three degree alcohol right this alcohol is a three degree alcohol okay so we have taken here uh, we have taken here three degree alcohol and and then we have taken here regent in the first step we have taken NaOH that is the base or or we can take a QH potassium hydroxide as a base or we can take sodium hydroxide as a base right and then we have taken here carbon disulfide CH2 carbon disulfide C double bond S double bond S okay it means double bond S uh, is bonded to carbon right from both sides right so uh, that is called CH2 carbon disulfide and then in the second step we have taken here methyl iodide CH3I okay so what happened then the formation of a alkyl xanthate takes place this this molecule is called alkyl xanthate okay uh, we will get this alkyl xanthate from this uh, reaction in the first step right first and second step you will get this and after this if you heat the reaction we have taken here is a condition of a heat okay so uh, the reaction condition is a heat and we have uh, here 100 to 250 degrees celsius okay and so after the heat you will get a alkene here as a major product and this is a c double bond uh, c double bond here c double bond o and c double bond s this is our byproduct okay and this is our also a byproduct this, these two are the these two products are the byproduct okay and these are the very stable byproduct okay so uh, right and this is your major product alkene so this reaction is basically a preparation of alkenes or uh, olefins and now let's go to the mechanism of this reaction i hope uh, this is a better uh, overview of this reaction right and now let's go to mechanism how it how this reaction is happening here okay let's start so first of all we have uh, taken a region here uh, sorry substrate that is uh, r1 wait i am taking r1 and here you have uh, oh here alcohol group here right and here is a r2 and here is a r3 right and you have uh, here hydrogen is also present you all know that ch2 and uh, because uh, we have taken uh, we have taken in the first step that is the base Either you can take a NOH, either you can take a KOH or sodium hydride, any base you can take here, right? So, you also know that we have taken here NOH as base, right? What happened? Because this is a base, so the base work is to take a proton, take acidic proton, right? Take acidic proton so that's why and also in this substrate we have this hydrogen is a more acidic proton we have more acidic proton okay 
so that's why what happened this base will take proton from this oxygen uh, this h plus from oxygen okay so you will see this oh minus will take proton from this oxygen and this bond will get as a on the oxygen as a negative charge and you will find something like this here is a o minus we have here r3 here and we have here r2 right and then we have taken here a carbon disulfide right i have told you earlier we have taken here a carbon disulfide so c double bond s here c double bond s so what happened uh, this o minus will attack on this carbon disulfide because uh, here is because the carbon and the sulfur so sulfur is a more electronegative and a carbon is a electropositive uh, right so that's why there is a electronegativity difference between this carbon and sulfur so that's why we have a here uh, we have a here a polarity here that's why on the carbon this is a delta positive charge because because the carbon is a less electronegative than this sulfur okay so that's why that's why this uh, o minus will attack on the carbon carbon right and then this bond will be shipped on the sulfur you will get a sulfur as a negative charge on this uh, on this sulfur atom and now you will get something like this r1 here you get a o uh, o uh, and here carbon right one second let me draw it below okay and now you will get something like this here is the r1 and now here will be o and here carbon and here will be s minus sulfur sulfur negative charge and here we have double bond and we have here here is the r2 here is the r3 right and now what happened uh, because uh, in the second step we have taken uh, ch3i you also know that ch3i we have taken methyl iodide so methyl iodide and because the uh, because here is a induction of polarity here delta minus and here is a delta positive because the electronegativity difference okay so that's why this uh, sulfur negative charge will attack on this carbon and this i minus will be leave right and then you will get something like this r1 here uh, you will got uh, something o let me make it clear okay see here uh, you will got something r1 here wait wait here is the r1 and here is the ox oxygen and here carbon and you will get uh, sulfur here right ch3 attached and here we have double bond s okay right fine so what happened now uh, now we, uh, now you see here is a hydrogen okay okay right here is hydrogen so so now we have uh, we have given a heat right we have given a heat condition of a reaction is a heat right uh, uh, 100 to 250 degrees celsius 100 to 250 degrees celsius the, the reaction condition is a heat okay so now what happened uh, 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 let me show you more clear okay uh, how this reaction is happening here right let me uh, something uh, rearrange this okay let me show this double bond s on the upper side because here is a scene elimination happening here scene elimination will be happen right okay and here you have something like this o attached to carbon and carbon attached to uh, something like this okay fine right okay so what happened uh, this hydrogen because here 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 the scene elimination will be occur scene elimination this is very important thing scene elimination that's why i have made the double bond s on the upper side so that this h and this and this double bond s on the same side right so that's why here we have a sin we are doing a sin elimination so then then we can get a alkene right then we can get a uh, um, olefins okay so now see how this how this will how this will be gonna happen see first of all 
what happened because uh, he here we have taken the heat condition so that's why he will something like this this hydrogen will be shifted on this one and then this bond will break and goes on this and it goes on the CO bond and then this double bond will take this hydrogen okay and now you will get now you will get what something like this this is our this is our alkene right okay okay let let me make this group so my students here is r3 and here is a r2 right and now uh, now you have here is a uh, here is also a r3 and here is a also a r2 right so now you got a alkene this is our major product okay this is our major product right this is our major product major product okay uh, so this is our alkene is a major product uh, if you have i think uh, you have no any doubt how uh, how this is happening see i am telling you again this is shape because uh, might be for some students this step is difficult okay see what happened in the first step we have uh, uh, we are we are eliminating this hydrogen and shifted this bond on this bond and then this bond will be, will get break and it goes on and this has a c double bond o and then this bond will take this hydrogen this h plus okay right so this is happening here right i hope uh, you will all understand and then you get a alkene here right and plus you will get here uh, something like this s double bond o and uh, here you will get uh, mm, s uh, s uh, h double bond o and uh, and here something like this h double bond o h double bond o h double oh wait 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 here you got something like this c double bond o right and here uh, c s h right c s h c double bond o s h and here is the s c h 3 fine okay now what happened uh, because uh, the driving force uh, of this reaction is to become a more stable product so we can make more stable product by this one this lone pair will shift here and then what happened this bond will be gonna here and here and then again this bond will be gonna break right and then you will get c double bond o here sh right you have here positive charge here and here is a s minus ch3 okay and now what happened because the sulfur got some positive charge so we will have to neutralize this and that's why this sulfur minus will take this proton and make the sulfur neutral okay and now you got the product now you got the product something like this c double bond o this is our byproduct okay this one and you will get ch3 sh this is also a byproduct right so this one and this one these are the byproduct and this is our major product okay this is our major product right okay so uh, this is all about the to give to give elimination i hope uh, you will all have uh, understand this mechanism very clearly okay so one thing uh, you have to be keep in mind here we have to do a sin elimination okay because uh, because in the sugar elimination there must be a cis elimination sin elimination will occur okay so this is uh, all about the sugar elim elimination i hope you will all have uh, understand this mechanism very crystal and clear and if you have understand then please like share and subscribe this channel okay so tab tak clear tata bye bye see you soon
in the next episode series of our organic name reaction thank you for watching my video